All right, guys, welcome back. So I basically skipped ahead a little bit when I was creating subnets and route tables and whatnot because those are pretty much all self-explanatory. Um, you can find how they're doing it in the docs. And in my last video, I was creating a bunch of them. However, I didn't finish on my last video. Um, but in this video, now that I've got them all pretty much squared away, I've basically created a public subnet for each of them, private subnet for each availability zone, again, for 1A and 1B, 1A and 1B. And uh, as well as an RDS um, or database uh, zone as well. And I've also got the route tables between all of them, I'm hoping I have them correct. So I finished the top half of this checklist. I'm going to go ahead and start in the bottom half. I don't know if I'll be able to get to create the VPN because I need to find a VPN solution that will work. However, hopefully, God willing, I will find one. Um, what I'll try to do is that I'll try to create this single EC2 instance with Jira and security groups along with side with it. Um, but right now to create that security, to create that instance, I don't want that particular instance in this Terraform. Um, this is only for the core stuff. So meaning basically saying core VPC, uh, where the uh, Jira application or ticketing sub, uh, application and maybe some uh, uh, source code management if I don't use GitHub, which I may end up using GitHub and whatever else is going to end up in this VPC. Then for each application, I will have application VPC. So I'll have application network Terraform project, and then I'll also have a uh, application EC2 instance or resource, other resource other than network um, related resources for a repository for those as well. Um, I hope that makes sense. So now that I've got the network stuff laid out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I go ahead and create the right outputs. Now I started on the outputs already and public subnet IDs. However, I want to make sure that I get both subnets because I've got two subnets. I've got two public subnets and two private subnets. And I've also got RDS subnets as well. So instead of having them in different values, I want to basically get them in lists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this value for the time. Actually, I'll keep it, but I'm going to, I'm going to enclose that in a, in a list function. So list, and we can go ahead and do, um, Actually, let's do the list here. So list, and if I look at the list function, which I got I got pulled up here, I can say, here we go. So that's length, where's list? I know I just saw them. Ah, here we go. It says list returns a list, so I can just go ahead and put in ABC, whatever, however, however I want to, right? And so list that, um, let's put an end over here. So I've got the public subnet 01, and I also want the AWS subnet tools uh, public subnet 02.id. And I'm not entirely sure if this will work. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Terraform console that I've showed you guys in the previous video, or maybe it's previous videos because it's been so long since I've actually uh, ran a video, and I apologize for that. I'm going to go ahead and run Terraform console to see if that actual if that actual function works. And if it does work, great. If not, then we'll find out exactly what happens. So it says it must be in three parts, um, meaning that variable must be in three parts. So dot one dot id. Ah, oh, I see where I'm mistaken. Okay, it's AWS subnet dot. So let's fix that up. And let's put that and test it out here. And there are my subnets. Sweet. All right. Um, so that does, in fact, work. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. So I'll keep that. And I will do list. And that will be AWS subnet.tools private subnet. Oh, two. I'm wondering if I should rename these to core since it's part of the core VPC. Mm, let's see, what did I name the VPC actually? Did I name the VPC tools? I did name it tools. Okay, so I named it tools, but I want to make sure that I tag everything as a part of this Terraform. So I'll do that in a bit. Let me just go ahead and finish this up. Dot ID. And that will give me the private subnets as well. Now I also want the RDS subnets. Uh, if I look at my subnets.tf, 
I've got RDS subnets. Tools, private route table, route table, route table. Here we go, RDS subnet 01 and RDS subnet 02. So same thing. Now what this does is that if you've used CloudFormation, let's keep the same uh, namespace. If you use CloudFormation, there's there's a sort of thing uh, where you can output a specific function, a specific string or value in CloudFormation, which then you can import into other CloudFormation templates. This is essentially the same thing. I am basically outputting the private subnet IDs and public subnet IDs, and then any other Terraform that has access to this Terraform state file um, can reference the private subnet IDs and the public subnet IDs as needed. So in, rather than, like if I were to create a whole new Terraform project for, for example, Jira, which I will be doing hopefully today, um, if I were to create a whole new uh, Terraform project for Jira, I want to be able to put that instance in the subnet ID, in a private subnet ID, either both or at least one or the other, right? But I don't want to be able to statically type that subnet ID into the uh, into the instance resource. I want to pull that from this Terraform. So what it's going to do is I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a remote a data source of a remote state to pull from this state and this state will out uh, will give me that subnet ID as a part of an output so we're going to go ahead and import it as an output from this one and put it into that resource uh, what did I name the there we go All right, those are my subnets. At least that's the ones I need so far. I also want to go ahead and output the VPC ID. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so let's get the VPC ID just in case I'll need it. A lot of the case you do need it, especially for creating load balancers. make sure that ID is the actual attribute reference that we can get from the resource. So let's do Terraform VPC and that's the data source. We don't want that one with the resource. So the attribute reference is in fact ID. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and use that. So I've got my outputs and that's VPC ID, public subnets, public subnets, public subnets, and then there we go. So from now, let's exit this. Let's run a Terraform apply. And there we go. See, here are my outputs. So private subnet IDs, public subnet IDs, RDS subnet IDs. Um, and basically what will happen is that I'll, I will grab these from this state into any other Terraform that I want to get it from, or get it to. And that's pretty much it. So I've created the subnets, I've created my outputs, this is pretty much done. So now I'm going to go ahead and make a new resource for Jira. So let me go ahead and add this. That's in that branch now. All right, guys, on, I'm going to go ahead and push everything else as far as creating Jira EC2 instance onto the next video. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, obviously. Um, I've actually also got a Patreon, so um, I'll go ahead and put that URL in, in the description. Uh, every little bit helps. Basically, I'm just paying for the instances with the Patreon support. Uh, 
this is pretty much free and always will be free. Um, and we'll go from there. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.